So, this video is inspired by CBX who left this comment. Girl, I feel your pain, and yes, yes I do have some advice. Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm sure you've noticed the general abundance in studying, revision, and just general school related videos lately. And that is very much in part due to the fact that I'm getting a lot of messages from you guys who are doing your exams right now. And first of all, I should say that if you do have any questions, definitely leave them below and I will do my best to try and answer them. So the question that came in was from somebody who said that they have a month left until their exams, specifically biology, and if I had any advice in trying to revise that in a short amount of time. Especially as she mentioned that there are certain topics that she has forgotten. And what I thought I would do is make a video all about some last minute revision and studying techniques that are effective. Because let's be honest, we've all been there. I know I certainly have, so no judgement. I feel your pain. And I gotta say that the person who left this video seems to be quite on top of her exams, but for somebody like me, I found myself in a situation where I was completely lost. Deadline is coming up, or I should say the exam is coming up, and I'm still pretty clueless. So here are a bunch of things that I have learned that have definitely helped me, and I hope that they help you too. Let's get into it. The first one, and this is something that I've only learned very recently, but it's so important. And it's spend an hour or even two hours coming up with a strategic plan. So here's the thing, when you have a limited amount of time until your upcoming exam, there is no point in just, you know, shuffling through your notes and trying to read things over and try to learn things. So what I would highly recommend is breaking down what you need to do in the set amount of time that you have left and coming up with a very detailed plan of what you can realistically tackle. And you might be thinking, come on, like an hour and an hour to two hours on planning? That's ridiculous, that's time I could be using to actually revise. And yes, I can see where you're coming from, but it's much, much better to have a precise plan of what you need to do rather than aimlessly flick through notes and look at this and look at that because that will cause a lot of anxiety and you know, you're not actually doing focused revision. Number two is concentrate on your strengths. Because this is the thing, realistically you might not have time to go over and try and teach yourself some of the really complicated things or some of the things that you just didn't get first time round. And I know at this point this is where a lot of students lose marks because what they do is they try to get a surface level of a very complicated topic even though they don't have time to fully understand it. And because they do that they take away good valuable revision time from an area that they com that they understand a bit better and that they have potential to do a lot better in. So naturally it makes more sense to try and concentrate on your strengths and learn them really well to try and get all of the marks you can from those topics instead of skimming over the complicated parts because you know you might not remember them anyway. And just to give you an example, this is what I did in my second year of university. There was one module and I think that in that module I literally skipped half of it. I skipped the entirety of microbiology because I had just gotten myself in a terrible situation where I didn't have time to study it. But because I concentrated all of my efforts and put maximum effort into the bits that I did know, I still managed to come out with a 2-1 in the exam. And yes, it's not a first, and yes, I definitely don't advocate putting yourself in the situation that I was, I certainly regret it, but if you do find yourself in that situation, and it's okay, it happens to the best of us, focus on your strengths, really important. Number three is to make sure to make every day and every hour count. And I think what really helps me with this personally is I print off a calendar, just, you know, go on Google or whatever, just type in calendar, and circle the date that your exam is on. And then every single day, put a big red cross throughout the day that you've just had. I think this is a great motivator because sometimes it's easy to be like, oh, you know, 10 days, that's plenty of time, or eight days, that's plenty of time. Because eventually you'll get to two days and you'll be like, oh my God, it's two days, where did this time go? But if you have a calendar and you're literally crossing off day by day, then you can kind of gauge the amount of time you have. And you know, it kind of puts a bit of a fire under your butt, which honestly, sometimes we really need that to be able to help push through. Number four, and this is definitely related to what I've just said, is get used to the stress. 
I know that so many people, including myself, make videos and talk about how you know you need to reduce your stress and try not to panic as much. And yes, I definitely stand for all of those things. But for when it's only a short period of time, for example, let's say you've got 12 days until your exam, then it's fine. Let the anxiety, you know, push you forward because it's not, it's not like you're going to be stressed for like eight months, six months. So the best thing to do in this situation is really feel the anxiety, but instead of letting it fuel you, sorry, instead of letting it cripple you, then use it as a way to fuel you so you can propel yourself forward. And the best way to do this is every time you feel stressed or panicked or something about the exam, don't think, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I've got 10 days left. Like, switch it off. You have the power to control your own thoughts. And as soon as you get those anxious thoughts, block them off and go and get some revision done. I know it's very easy to say because I still struggle with it from time to time myself, but if you somehow manage to do this, then trust me, those 10 days or 8 days or 5 days that you have left until your exam will be days spent doing focused revision. Number 5 is find a way to be able to study for long periods without getting bored. Now I will definitely make a video about this because I think it's very important and I think it's a, a video that a lot of people could benefit from. But I will share with you the technique that helps me most um, be able to you know, sustain my revision over a long period of time. So what I do is I get my phone and firstly I put it on flight mode because you know you don't want to be disturbed by messages or anything like that. And what I do is I will set a timer for 30 minutes and for 30 minutes I will do the most focused intense amount of work as I can. And then after that, I will set another timer on my phone for 10 minutes. And in that 10 minutes, I will just doodle in my doodle sketchbook and listen to really happy, uplifting music. And also when I am doing my focused work, I listen to very specific like study music or classical music. And I actually have a playlist talking about the different kind of music that's really good for revision. And I will link those below. But for me, this switch between focused studying and doing something I enjoy, but also something that takes my brain off it, that balance, um, I mean, that contrast is a really good way and it helps me, you know, study for maybe three, four, five hours at a time. I gotta say, if you do take these 10 minute breaks, make sure you do something active. Don't check your phone, don't go on social media. I know it sounds obvious and I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm nagging you, but but when you do things like that, it's very, very easy to lose track of time and you don't actually feel like you've had a break. And if doodling isn't your thing, that's fine. Play guitar for 10 minutes, play your keyboard for 10 minutes, do push-ups for 10 minutes, solve a Rubik's Cube for 10 minutes. I don't know, something like that that is fun but at the same time active. It's not something idle like, you know, going on your phone. Number six is don't spend this time that you have left reading over notes or making notes or reading your textbook. I mean, this obviously depends on how much time you have, but let's say you've got five or six days left until your exam. There's no point making new notes now because chances are that's not going to go in your head. What really matters right now is to be able to test yourself. This means doing past papers, doing question and answers, doing cue cards, asking a friend or family member to ask you questions about the topic and for you to explain yourself. Basically, what you need to do at this point is to see how much of the information you can regurgitate. And by doing so, you can identify the areas where your information is lacking and to try and fill those gaps as much as you can in the time that you have. Number seven, and last but not least, is sleep. Oh my God, this is so important. I know it's so tempting to just drink loads of coffee and loads of energy drinks and think, okay, I'm gonna do two all-nighters in a row because I need to get this work done. I get it. And if you are one of those people, you know, respect to your hustle. But in order for you to form memory in your long term, you need sleep. Memory consolidation happens during sleeping time. So the less you sleep, it doesn't matter how much work you do, then the less of it is actually going to stay in your head. And you know what, guys? I could honestly go on talking about all of these last minute techniques forever, but I want to keep this video as short as I can because you, my friend, have got some revis revision to do. If this video helped you out, then definitely share it with some of your friends if they're also going through something. And please hang around. I have lots of other videos. They're not all revision based, I promise. Make sure to subscribe. And guys, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up because it would help me out a lot. Overall, hang in there, you trooper. I've definitely been through where you are right now, and if I can get through it, then you definitely can get through it too. 
I wish you all an amazing day, best of luck with revision, and until next time, take care and I'll see you later.